Hello there. So we are now on day 20 of the of 88 days to manifest your best life. And here on day 20, we're going to be talking about throat chakra healing. Now, we've been talking the last few days about how to get aligned. How do we actually become aligned, okay, um, in our energy centers and our chakras so that we can then begin to um, have energy or li universal life energy or chi, God energy, creation energy flowing through us evenly, easily, so that we can easily and efficiently manifest our best life. Not that you're never going to have any issues ever, not that you're not ever going to encounter problems because, and we'll talk about this in a, in a couple of days here, it's that contrast, right? It is that that duality. It is in, in overcoming issues that we then gain the ability to create our own world. Like we came here to do this. So it's really a very powerful thing to go through this process. So as we're talking about the throat chakra, it's also the this huda. This Huda Chakra, okay? Chakra. Um, and this, its element is sound or space. Um, its color, it's blue, and the, the, um, the sound or the seed sound is hum. Hum. That's the seed sound. Now, the throat chakra is um, responsible for... Um, it is associated with not only just the throat, but also the tongue, the lips, the cheeks, the jaw, the as well as the ears, okay, because we hear the sound, um, the lower, back and lower part of the neck, and some people even for the shoulders as well. Um, it is this kind of, mm, it's the pathway between emotions and the mind, right? So your heart that, that navigates your emotions and then up here, the mind, both physical and metaphysical, this is the gateway to that. Much like the heart is the gateway between all of this into the manifested world, now we're beginning to get into this kind of metaphysical world, okay? Um, it's associated with light, with beauty, with, with it can be also associated mm, this uh, as it's associated with the spoken word, it can also be associated with the thought, some people feel that when we're going through times of um, emotional times of depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, that that actually has its roots in the chakra system because we're not in the chakra, the throat chakra, excuse me, because we're not able to truly um, verbalize or express how we're feeling, express our power, right? It is the blockage is typically... I'm associated with an inability to speak. So when you can't speak up for yourself, when you can't speak up for others, when you're just finding it very difficult to get the nerve or the courage to say something or find the right words to communicate and connect, then we find that this tends to be an imbalance in the throat chakra. Um, sometimes it can manifest with the fear of speaking in public, or even with people that you know, but you're basically wanting to say, hey, my voice can't be heard. It can also show you, it, it can also show up in over-defending yourself, right? Finding yourself every time you turn around, you need to defend your position or defend your why um, and, and immediately put up this wall of, this is why I did this, right? Overly communicating, right? Just kind of rambling on, not knowing when to stop not knowing when to cease talking, right? And so that, and that can tend to get you in a little bit of trouble. Um, physical signs potentially of a blocked throat chakra, a thyroid problems, hoarseness, sore throat, sores in the mouth, on the mouth or um, in the mouth or the tongue, gum disease, ear infections, sinus infections, TMJ, and very tight shoulders. I myself have noticed when I don't feel like I'm expressing myself fully or I've not been able to express myself fully or I feel like the message just isn't getting out, nobody really understands it, a lot of those things can happen where I get a sore throat or I'm hoarse. Um, I just got done battle the battling at the time of this um, at the time of this recording, a double ear infection. I had an infection in both ears. 
well, I felt like I wasn't being heard when I when when I finally was able to express myself to certain individuals. It just kind of released all of that, and all of a sudden it was gone. You know, I'd I'd gotten medication for it, but I hadn't really taken the medication for it per se. It was just gone. So just know that that can actually happen quite a bit, especially I've noticed TMJ, especially over prolonged, like, yes, it is a result of potentially physical abuse as well, but mentally emotional abuse. Um, it can be a result of that. Like if this abuse basically started when you were a child and then as a teenager, and then you, as an adult, you're still going through the same similar type of abuse, even if it's not like your parents, like you're choosing partners that engage in that as well. So, you know, you really want an open and balanced throat chakra so that you're able to speak without fear, with compassion, but also that you're open to listening and hearing and being bold and, and honestly being able to kind of balance, right, all of this. Like sometimes what happens is because we don't hear, because we're so busy defending then we really can't come into close communication or a good relationship with the people that we want to, right? That we want to work with. As far as healing the throat chakra, protecting your neck, like wear, wearing things that cozy up the neck, drink warm, like warm teas with honey who helps protect it. There are yoga poses that where you're kind of stretching the neck and bending stretching, like really be sure this is kind of, this is limber physically. There's herbs like slippery elm, marshmallow, or elderberry that actually nurture and, and can protect and heal. Yep. Chanting, singing, humming, right? Will anything that starts the throat to vibrating that begins to heal, strengthen the throat chakra. All right. Meditations, of course. So you want to be sure that when you're doing the meditations, it is designed to open up this pathway of speech. So when you're doing these, like this would be much more of like the guided meditations where you're speaking, um, like repeating something that's being stated. Um where there's humming involved, where, you know, there's the chanting. Um, even if you're doing like an ohm chant for like your third eye and your crown chakra, we can still actively, like that still is going to help the throat chakra because you're activating it, you're utilizing it, you're turning it on and you're allowing it to express. Okay. Uh oh, I almost forgot crystals. One second. Aquamarine, yeah. Um, any of the blues, so the soda lights, the lapis lazulis, those can be used for throat chakra, aquamarine, turquoise, other blue stones, so like a blue kyanite can uh, it will help your third eye vision, but it will also help the throat chakra. So there's many that we can utilize in order to assist your throat chakra in its healing process, open it up and strengthen it. That's what I have for you guys for the throat chakra healing. This, this is a very important one because it's very important in the manifestation process, right? Because what you speak out, you hear, then you believe. Um, it really changes the third dimensional mind, especially. So let's really focus on this and, and, and take some additional time for it. All right. Now, don't forget, whatever platform you're watching this on, give me a follow, give me a like, give me a share, um, give me a subscription, whatever. Like, that's completely free um, to do that. And I really, really appreciate the support as we are growing everywhere. And we really do want everyone to um, be able to watch and view these videos and be able to manifest their best life in 88 days. And please never, never forget to give permission to your purpose, to provide for your person. This is Dr. Lisa. We'll see you soon. Bye.